July 1996, TWA Flight 800 takes off from New York's JFK Airport. Just 12 minutes into the flight, the plane explodes. We just saw it explode from the air. It's about, about 16,000 feet or something like that. It just went down to the water. You can see the two wings fall off, and uh, the fuel was obviously uh, coming out of the wings, and then it was leaving. And of course, it was all on fire. Captain David McLean was piloting a different airplane. He thought it was a bomb or some sort of in-flight explosion. Whatever it was killed all 230 on board. Some characterize it as fireworks. Uh, others uh, said maybe that it was a, a missile going towards the plane. The FBI and NTSB looked at every possibility. A missile, a bomb, terrorism. The plane's black boxes were recovered in good condition, but offered little since both had stopped recording. John Golia was with the NTSB. I spent hours and days looking at every piece of metal, looking for the telltale signs of a missile, and there were none. The FBI spared no expense in trying to show that it was a bomb, and in the end of the day, they couldn't prove it was a bomb. In the end, investigators determined Flight 800's center fuel tank exploded, causing the plane to break apart. No matter what witnesses thought they saw, the government said there was simply no proof of a criminal act. Golia expects the same type of conspiracy theories will result from the crash of Russia's Metrojet 9268, which also broke apart in midair, 23 minutes into the flight. There's already talk of a missile and a bomb. A heat flash detected at the time of the Russian jet crash suggests there was a catastrophic in-flight event. That heat flash is similar to the red flash people witnessed when TWA crashed. And that turned out to be the plane already on fire at 8,400 feet in the night sky. Whatever it was that brought the Russian jet down caused the tail to break apart from the airplane. When that happened will be key to the investigation. So will the burn marks in the desert, Golia says. The airplane hit the ground and didn't scatter, possibly preserving important clues. Randy Kay, CNN, New York.